with James Akers here, the tie guy. Today we're going to be tying a very classic looking Keton tie. Uh, Keton is probably the number one top name when it comes to men's fashion. Uh, their motto is the best of the best plus one and uh, they make really good stuff. I've got a lot of their ties and I've never never had a bad one. They're all, everything by Keton is handmade in Italy uh, by a select uh, group of tailors that they train everything else. A uh, very, very high end uh, company and they make great quality stuff. As far as a review goes, the, the silk on Catan always lies really, really nice. This is not a super thick tie. Catan doesn't do a lot of fancy labeling and stuff like that. They just have one little uh, label right there sewn into, uh, uh, into the back of it that says Catan. And it's uh, because they're hand done, they're always in a little bit of a different place, which I find a little bit interesting. But uh, their, their silk always feels very nice and luxurious. Just has a good, soft feel to it. And uh, I haven't tied this tie... Actually, I have tied this tie before. It's been a while, though. But uh, I expect it to tie very, very good. So let's tie it up and see how it comes together. We're going to first find our spot, which uh, we do by adjusting the length of the tie to where we believe that tying a full Windsor knot is going to put us with the tip of the tie being somewhere between the belt buckle top and bottom. That's our goal every time. With this not being a super thick tie, I'm probably going to need about this much space from the end of my fingertips. And so let's see how this comes together. We take the long part of the tie over top of the short part. Then we come underneath, up, and through. Then we come around behind, keeping everything nice and tight. Around, over top, down, and through. Now we're just going to look at the knot and use this as a checkpoint, make sure it's coming together, which it is. Then we take the tie over the front, back in behind, up and through. And then we'll go down, down through that little pocket we just created when we went around the front. We'll hold the top of the pocket and we pull the tie through. Now we turn the corners down, hold the knot, and we're going to pull on the tie to tighten up the knot and look how it comes together into a little triangle. Then we hold the knot and we pull on the short part of the tie to bring it up to our neck. And then we want to check for our length. We want the tip of the tie, that's this part right here, we want this part right here to come between the top and the bottom of our belt buckle. And this one is coming right just, just over halfway, which is absolutely perfect. Uh, short of the belt buckle, no, 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 no. If it's a little bit long, it's okay, like like just a tiny bit long. We don't want it hanging down the, into our crotch area or hanging up it towards our belly button. It just looks, in my opinion, looks a little bit sloppy. So let's pull the collar down and tidy this all up. Let's see how it all came together here. This is a, uh, I didn't even cover the color of it. It's black and gold or what the colors are. It's black and gold. So we're pairing up the purple shirt just to pull some color. Um, we, we don't want any gap right here, so let's just tighten this up. And that came together really, really nice. Catan ties do tie a very nice knot. Um, now we're going to tuck this into the keeper in the back. And this, the look is going to start scrolling across the bottom of your screen. But uh, once I get my tie tucked, I'm going to go through it with you right now. Today we're wearing a Zinnia suit. It's an Amerna Gildo Zinnia brown suit. Uh, it's one of my favorite suits. I love the way it fits me. We're wearing a purple Eaton shirt. Eaton makes a really high quality shirt. I do like their shirts. They always have really uh, nice looking buttons and a lot of textures. You can't really see it in this video, but the shirt has a lot of texture to it, which I just like in a dress shirt. I, I'm not a big fan of just plain. Um, we're wearing a Keton tie, uh, which is black with gold diagonal stripes. Today we're wearing a brown Salvatore Ferragamo belt with a gold belt buckle. Really pulls out the, the kind of yellow gold in that tie. And we're pairing that with a pair of brown Bally Oxfords. On my Instagram, tie guy James Akers, you'll see uh, close-ups of the belt and the shoes, close-ups of the tie, so you can see the textures in it. You'll also see selfies of me, uh, close-ups of the knot, the whole outfit, pair, uh, you know, uh, before I put it on, all stage and everything else. So check out my Instagram. If you like my videos, please click subscribe and like. I appreciate you guys. I am ready for work.